everyone, today I'm going to be doing a Kate Middleton soft and wearable makeup look as requested. Now, I don't know if you can see, but I already did one eye to save up time. Um, I did put a little bit of blush here. I did one side and I'm going to say one for this, for this tutorial right now. It's, as you can see, it's like I'm not wearing any because obviously, you know, I'm not wearing anything on the other side. So, anyway, we're going to start off with this eyeshadow here. It's this brown one here from by Lancome, as promised, as I used with my requests. And it's in Volcano by Lancome. And you're just going to... You only want a little bit of this. And put it all over the eyelid. Just like that. Okay, now let's see here. And we're gonna take um a eyeliner. I have my land cup with me, but I don't want to use this one until I finish this one up. It's by Ramel, and this is by this is called Black Magic number 161. And you're gonna start with the top. Upper lash line, I mean. I'll zoom in so you can see. And then you want to put, this tickles like hell when you do this, but you're going to have to do it anyway. You're going to, it's called tight lining. And you're going to put this under your eyelid. Whoa. I'm going to need a mirror for this. See, it gives you this nice appearance. Put more over here. Then you want to put it on your waterline where the tear duct is located. And then you want to go on the lower lash line. Like that. If I can find the cap. Next, we're going to be going with a mascara, Lancome. Um, well, you know, Kate has very dark eyebrows, so I I have my eyebrow definer, but I can't find it. You just want to make it very dark, but don't make it sharpie looking. So, just dark. Just the regular old Lancome brush. Oops. Duh, other eye. <laughs> okay. My hair out of my face. Okay, see how this saves up time? Then, I'm going to use this one. You can only get this in Hong Kong. Um, and it's a peachy scarlet. Now, this is what I did on the other side, but it's not very noticeable for some reason. Okay, so you're just going to put it on like regular blush. 
You want a lot of this because you're putting it all over your face like a bronzer. And then you're gonna put it on your chin, on the forehead like that, in an upwards motion. Come on. Okay. I have to see myself in the regular light. Now once you do it, it'll look much more noticeable. And then we're going to put on some highlighter. So I'm using this one by Lancome. And the highlighter. It's the Blush Subtle Duo. It comes with a blush and a highlighter. So I'm going to be using this one. It's a little bit lighter than it already is. And you're going to just put this over here just to give a little bit of a healthy glow. Now it's very early in the morning here. About it looks bright outside for some reason, but um it's about six or in the morning right now. Gosh, I'm telling you. I couldn't sleep anyway, so I just decided to do this for you guys. So that's what it looks like. You'll notice it, not on camera, but once you do it. It'll look much better. Okay. Wait. And then we're going to finish off with a lip gloss. Now, um, I have to find an orangish one. I have it somewhere by MAC, the uh, lip gloss, but I can't find it. So I'm just going to use my other Lancome one, the Juicy Tubes. This is like a regular pink like it is on camera. Uh, this one is in Moulin Rose. Um, you can get the orangish kind. This is not the right color, but just to have a little substitute for it. So here we go. And this has a nice smell and flavor as well. And there you have it, a Kate Middleton inspired makeup look, soft and wearable, everyday look. And please subscribe, request, keep the Dear Emily things coming. Uh, I've got loads more videos to give you guys, uh, so stay tuned and stay well. Thank you. Bye.